country. Good day, Tampa Bay. 845 on your Sunday morning. Here's a chance to be part of a movement to end the stigma surrounding mental illness. Next weekend, you can participate in the annual Stride for Mental Health Awareness Run. The National Alliance on Mental Illness, known as NAMI, they host it every year. And here to tell us more about it, we have Natasha Pierre. She's a board member of the organization's affiliate here in Hillsborough County. Natasha, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So yes. this is important to you, and you kind of took it a step further to do a 5K every day. Absolutely every single day. We have this walk coming up and I thought the best way to promote the walk and also to raise mental health awareness is to do a daily 5K with a theme. And so I started on October 20th. My theme was for the 22 veterans that die by suicide every day. I started with Sergeant Elijah Washington, who unfortunately is no longer with us. He passed on Wednesday. But we'd walk every day, we would talk, and what we did was uh, embody what we need as a community. Mental illness is not an individual issue. It's a community so issue do suffer in an isolated way because Absolutely. it's a hard thing to talk about and they don't necessarily know where to turn. True. And people are suffering in silence. You know, it's Veterans Day weekend, so the bravest among us are suffering right now. And what NAMI does, NAMI Hills Grows, we want to bring the advocacy, the education, the support, and the outreach necessary so that we can end the harmful stigmas that keep people suffering in silence by themselves and to let them know there is a greater community here that wants to support you. Why does this mean so much to you? This means a lot to me because I had my own 20-year uh, journey with a diagnosed mental illness. So I know the pain, I know the frustration of just navigating treatment, and I also know what stigma looks and feels mm -hmm. like. And I want to ensure, you know, my, my, my role on the board with NAMI is to ensure that we're doing everything to build a more compassionate community. And when it comes to those who are in need of help, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for families out there to, to reach out? What if somebody isn't ready to have help or say, I don't need it, you know? How can you start that conversation? Well, the great thing with NAMI is we have support groups. We have for family members and we also have for people with the lived experience, the people with the diagnosis. And sometimes before a person is ready to go to a therapist, they'll connect with someone who also has a similar diagnosis in a safe place, no judgment, just come out and talk. And so this weekend for the walk, it's a free event. Yeah. You know, half, there's no registration for it. We just want you to come out and get the education, get the information, because the more we talk, the more that we can really end stigma. And get that sense of community. Absolutely. So what do people need to know to get involved? Wonderful. So you can go to our website. It's namihillsgrove.org. Again, just come out walk with us, talk with us, get the information and the resources that you need to support yourself and anyone else who's living or affected by a mental illness. And you'll be walking every day up until that point. Uh, and you were telling me, left, yeah, yes. yeah, like you go to different spots to, to try yes. to get uh, people to, to notice you Absolutely. and what you're doing. So I've done on Bayshore, I've done in St. Pete, I've done um, just walking up and down the aisles of Publix, and it's given me an opportunity, you know, for people to say, why are you doing this? And I get to talk to them about our mission with NAMI, what I'm doing, and how it's important for them to take care of themselves, body and mind. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Well, thank you for putting that conversation on the forefront and being here with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks.